I have a string called order. You can check the type. Okay. And from this, let us explore different functions that are available and we can take it from there. So if you want to check the length of this string, first let us understand how to get the details about the functions on string. You just say help of str and go to the details of it. There are functions uh, which starts with uh, underscore, underscore and end with underscore, underscore. These are special functions which are aliases for some other function. They are typically private ones. Okay. And we don't use directly. So for example, for eq, we actually say equal and then double equal and then we use it. We use these functions indirectly. Okay. So you don't need to worry too much about these underscore underscore the functions which are enclosed with underscore underscore. You can actually directly go to these list of functions. You can go through this list and read a bit on these functions. For example, you can use capitalize to make the first character to uppercase and the rest lowercase. Similarly, there are so many functions. The most important functions are count. I will explain some of these functions in detail, but I will just quickly glance through the important functions which we typically use. Count is one important function and then ends with, if you want to just check what is uh, a particular string is ending with, we can use ends with. Find is another important function, okay? Index is another important function. Find and index are almost same except one small difference. We will check that in a moment. And then uh, there are a bunch of functions which starts with the is. Okay, is alnum, is alpha, is decimal, is digit. These are the functions to check what it has. So for example, if you want to use type conversions to cover the exceptions, you can check the data type of it before performing the type conversion, such as is digit. You can actually check if it is if the string contains only digits before you use int to type cache okay so that's where these is functions comes very handy all the is functions means almost all the is functions are important and we use quite often as part of processing the data and you can also check whether the, the data is upper or is lower etc and then if you want to concatenate multiple strings together you can use this join function okay and it will concatenate and we will see that in detail at a later point in time if you are familiar with SQL, you have something called padding and trimming. And uh, the padding functions in Python are LGEST and RGEST. So if you want to pad before the string or after the string, we use either LGEST or RGEST, depending upon where you want to pad. And then lower is uh, to convert a string into lower case. Strip is similar to trim. So you might have heard about trimming the data and you can use strip functions for this. You have strip, L strip, and R strip. And it is very obvious by strip seeing the function name itself. Replace is to replace a particular character within the string with another string. Replace is very important. And then uh, split. Split is another important function along with split lines. We will see the details about split and split lines. Starts with is another important function. Okay. And then strip, it comes under trimming category. We have already discussed about L strip, R strip. We have strip also, which will trim spaces before and after particular string. And then uh, translate is another important function, so on and so forth. So these are the functions which are important. Okay. So let us see these functions in action. So we already defined a string called order. Okay. So when it comes to case conversion functions, so let's say I want to extract this and convert it into lower or upper. So to extract this, there are multiple ways to do so. One of the most common function that can be used to extract order status from this string is split. Okay. If you closely observe the data. This data have four fields. One is order ID, second one is order date, third one is customer ID, and fourth one is order status. So from strings like this, I want to extract order status. How to do that? We can actually say order status, it is variable name, and then string name, and then you can use split function. And if you want to get the help on split, you can just say help str dot split. You can only get the help related to that function. So split written a list of the words in the string, using step as the delimiter string. So here to understand the functionality of split, we need to recollect what a list is. List is nothing but an array, okay, which contains elements. So for example, if I say L equal to use square brackets and add few values like one comma two comma three comma four. Now L is of type list. Okay. So when you use split with the separator, so you can see split takes a separator. When you use the separator, it will actually split the string into an array, something like this. So now you can say order dot split. And if you see the syntax of split, the first argument is false. When it says false, then you have to use split on top of a string. So order is string and dot split. So it satisfies the first argument. So automatically order becomes first argument to split. Okay. 
by default separator is none if you want to pass the separator you can pass the separator like this and hit enter now you see it returned a list you can see it is in square brackets and you have order ID, order date, order customer ID and order status. Now, once you have the collection, so to extract this, you need to understand how to read elements from the collection. So if you have a collection called L and if you want to read the first element, you have to use L of zero. If you want to read last element, you have to get the length and you have to use length minus one. So in this case, length is four, length minus one is three and you have to use that because the index of list will start with zero. And I will talk about lot more in detail at a later point in time. For now, just understand how to access a particular element from the list. Using index, we can access and index starts with zero and we can read the element which you are interested in. So even in this case, after applying order dot split, you can say of three to get status. This is how you can get the status from here. Okay. So this is how you can use split and get the value you want as long as data is delimited. Similarly, if you want to get order ID, Order ID is the first element. I just have to say of zero and you can see it returned order ID. You can check the type of it, order dot split and comma and then of zero. It is of type string, but the values are of type integer. So for performance as well as functionality reasons, as soon as you see a particular value is actually numeric, even though it is represented as string, for further processing, you have to convert the type. It is both for performance as well as functional reasons. Why functional reasons? Let me show you. So if you have 10 and 2, if you say 10 greater than 2, both are as numbers. 10 is greater than 2 and it written true. But if I say 10, 10 as a string and 2 as a string like this. And if I say enter, it written false. So if you have to compare two numbers, you have to always convert into integers and then compare. Otherwise, you will get incorrect results. Also, when it comes to performance, if the values are supposed to be integers, if you sort them as integers or if you join them as integers, the performance will be much, much better. So for both functional and performance reasons, you have to typecast the data. Okay. So in this case, I can typecast order ID to integer by using integer function. Okay. And here, if you want to check whether the number is actually integer or not before typecasting integer, you have to say if order dot split comma of zero dot is digit okay then typecast to integer otherwise you don't want to so if you want to raise exceptions or if you want to just pass on by handling the exceptions gracefully you need to make sure to use is digit function to confirm that the incoming number is actually integer before applying the typecast otherwise it will throw value error so in this case i am saying i equal to and hit enter now I can say I, we got the value one. Okay. So this is how we can actually use split function to extract whatever information we want. And then is digit function to compare whether the string contains number or non digits or other format. And then if it contains only digits, we can actually type cast integer. So like this, we can club multiple functions and get whatever we want.